patrons star party here at Eastland Lake and Eastland was kind enough and gracious enough to host us. So have a table set up up here. This is so when people come to the star party, they can sign in, they can grab glow sticks to attach their mounts just so they don't get ran into. If we do have an influx of people, I put a few of my pictures that I've printed off of deep space out here. Uh, they're not, I'm not selling them or anything. They're just out here for display. I have a little sign in sheet for people who are interested in the, people get a free keychain just for showing up. These clouds will part. You guys getting that? Oh, I hope you guys are, are liking this presentation. Pretty cool, huh? So tonight, I'm set up out here at Eastland. I'm going to go over different ways to image the night sky. Different ways you can do astrophotography. A variety of different uh, entry points. You can do astrophotography with a $30 wise camera. It's a wise V3, it picks up the stars. You can do that, you can do star trails with it. You can have a small tripod, such as this, with an iPhone such as that and image the night sky. You can have just a standalone tripod. Of course, tracking, you're gonna have to follow the MPF rule, uh, which is how long you can expose a star before you get star trails. You can image the sky that way with just a camera and a tripod. You can buy the cheap uh, intro velometer and you can set that thing, you can set back and just push the button and it'll take pictures. You can get us a cheap tracker, it's not go-to, but it'll get the job done. This will do great Milky Ways and for some reason it is tracking, so I'm probably going to have to replace the batteries. Yay! That happens in transport. Uh, this got a broken on 14 millimeter on it and this is what takes Milky Way. This has a little more sophisticated intravolometer. This is an actual remote intravolometer. Some accessories I would get are probably a dummy battery uh, that way you can plug it into a usb battery a bigger one and i'll show you those in just a second so you have that and then you have moving up getting a little bit more serious here uh, you have larger lens this is a sigma 150 to 600 on a modified t3i camera it's been astro modified so it's had the ir cut filter taken out this on a skywasher eq35 a mini asi mini which is very helpful and it does work with the DSLR once you figure it out. And of course you have the AM5 harmonic mount with a dedicated astro camera, a Zewo collar camera. You have the tracking camera on top of that, uh, which is another collar camera. And that is to guide with, it guides that tracks the, the stars. Batteries, which are handy. They're great for your dew heaters. They're great for your cameras. Uh, even a battery as small as this uh, can run your camera. I think it just, it just won't run it as long, but it'll run your camera. It just has to be over, I think it is 15,000 milliwatts to do that. And this is another one, it'll run the camera. Of course, it's one that doesn't last as long. Out of all these, I recommend the Armos 40s. They do the best job. Also a Jackery, this is the Jackery battery. Right now we are ran over here to a generator which I've ran far away so I can hear the presentation that I'm going to give tonight. Uh, this cloudy, 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 which I'm sure is very discouraging, uh, but it is said to clear up by about 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna wait it out, obviously, because a lot of things set up tonight. Uh, probably won't shoot on everything. That would drive me absolutely insane. Uh, I'm definitely gonna shoot on these three, at least try to. Thought we were gonna be in another location, but uh, we chose this one because we have uh, more of a dark sky. There's no street lights here. And at the overlook down there, I did see some street lights. So that's uh, my five minute spiel, clear skies. <laughs> 